thank you and I want to thank you for being so good to me so good to me you were my bread when I was hungry you were my water when I was thirsty you were my shelter in the time of a storm and Lord you never never left me alone and I want to thank you for being so good to me hallelujah so good to me oh Lord I just want to thank you Lord I just want to thank you oh Lord I just want to thank you Lord, I just want to thank you. And I want to thank you for being so good to me. 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 Lord, you've been so good. 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 So good to me. So good, so good to me, so good to me, so good to me. Lord, you've been so good. Lord, you've been so good. You put food on my table. You put clothes on my back. I got eyes to see. I got ears to hear. I got legs to walk. I got a mouth to talk. Lord, you've been so good. 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 Could have been dead and gone. Could have lost my mind. So good to me. Lord, you've been so good. 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 Has he been good to you? Has he been good to you? Has he been good to you? So good to you. So good to you. So good to me. So good to me. Lord, you've been so good. 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 So good to me. So good to me. Hallelujah. God has been so good. God has been so good. God has been so good. Thank you, Jesus. God has been so good. God has been so good. So good to me. So good to me. I want to thank you for being. I got to thank you for being. I need to thank you for being so good to me. So good to me. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you tell God thank you? Can you tell God thank you? Can you tell God thank you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For loving me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For keeping me. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For saving me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, you've been so good. Thank you. Lord, you've been so good. Thank you. Lord, you've been so good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I owe you a thank you. 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 Thank you. For your grace. Thank you. For your mercy. Thank you. We love and kindness. Jesus, thank you, thank you, Lord, thank 
Oh God, thank you. Thank you. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I owe you a thank you. Thank you. I owe you a thank you. shout hallelujah let's shout thank you jesus amen god is a good god and he's worthy to be praised amen and so glad amen for the saints of god amen uh singing the praise hallelujah amen god has been so good and i just want to thank you amen because you've been so good to me amen and uh i can testify amen that he's been good Amen. Whenever I uh, see, amen, life, people moving and others breathing and those of us, amen, that uh, more personally that I know, uh, seeing them in their right mind, uh, still going through uh, in spite of whatever circumstances is against them. Amen. I say that God has been good to me. Hallelujah. That's a praise, amen, that I would sing. Amen. Even though my body might be sick. I, I still, as long as God would manage the strength, amen, hallelujah, to sing that he's been so good to me. Amen. He's yet been my bread and my water, uh, a doctor for me, amen, a counselor, a lawyer, uh, my Lord. Uh, so many places, amen. Uh, he has been my everything. Uh, and, and I'm glad that I'm on his side. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God has already proven to me that he's on my side because he's given me mercy so many times. So he's already proven he's on my side. And I'm walking this walk, hallelujah, every day to confirm and reconfirm, amen, that I walk with the Lord and I'm on his side. Oh, glory to his name. And so, amen, we're here this morning, amen, to uh, 
give God praise and to uh, offer a word of the Lord to all those, amen, who are here and who are watching that you might be encouraged, amen. I'm going to say praise the Lord to New Mount Island Pentecostal Power Church, amen, and uh, to all who may be listening. Amen. We just thank and praise God that he's maintaining us in this time of safer at home, social distancing and state order. Hallelujah. Uh, But God, you know, is working on our behalf. And uh, I believe that. Thank you, Lord. And while I'm here, I can say, boy, I can't wait to hear the testimonies of his goodness. Amen. Along with the other song praises of the saints of God and the righteous. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So while we hear and while I have your attention, uh, we're going to turn to the word of God. Amen. In Jeremiah, uh, the first chapter, uh, the 19th verse. And in Jeremiah 20. We're going to go there as well. Same book, Jeremiah 20, uh, 7 through 9. I believe we'll read Jeremiah 20, 7 through 9 first. Amen. Then we'll back up and catch a historical reading in Jeremiah's life, uh, chapter 119. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And so uh, we're going to look on here. And the Bible says, O Lord, thou hast deceived me, and I was deceived. Thou art stronger than I. And has prevailed. I am in derision daily. Everyone mocketh me. For since I spake, I cried out. I cried violence and spoil. Because the word of the Lord was made a reproach unto me. And a derision daily. Then I said, I will not make mention of him. Nor speak any more in his name. But his word was in my heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones. And I was weary with forbearing and I could not stay. All right, Jeremiah, the first chapter, backing up to the 19th verse. The Lord told Jeremiah, and they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to deliver thee. Amen. And so we're going to go before the Lord in prayer at this time. Precious Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we give you all the glory, all the praise. It belongs to you. Oh God, we're here, oh Lord. And Lord, my life, my brother and sister in the Lord's life, Lord, the ministry of the house of God, it all rests upon you. The church, oh Lord, at large, it all rests upon you. God, hallelujah, we're here to lean and we count on you, O Lord. Uh, Everything that you have given us, Lord, hallelujah, and blessed us with as people of God. Lord, I'm saying I cherish it and I thank you for it. My God, we're asking you to move, O Lord, uh, up on the sea of the peoples. Bless, O Lord, give us strength to preach your word. Anoint us, O Lord, that those, hallelujah, amen, that hear Lord hallelujah their ears will be open as the Holy Spirit speak to them and Lord as we speak and open our mouth we need you O Lord to push your word just download it from heaven right now in the name of Jesus and God we just thank you for your strength and your help heal and deliver hallelujah Uh, increase the faith O Lord of everyone Lord, at the sound of our voice, and we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, let every heart say amen. 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 We thank and praise God for his goodness and his help. Amen. This morning, uh, just for a placeholder of a thought, amen, we're going to say the mention of his name. The mention of his name. And when we say that, of course, we're talking about the name of the Lord, uh, Jesus Christ. The mention of his name. Amen. And so we thank and praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, Because sometimes you can uh, live life and feel like you're living life underwater. Hmm. Amen. And whatever you do, it seems so hard to do it. Uh, whatever action, and I'm talking about good things, amen, things that God will be honored, still seems like a struggle, amen, uh, hard to, 
to do. Amen. Uh, there are times, amen, and you may relate with this, that uh, we can feel it's difficult even to wake up in the morning and get our day started. Hmm? Amen. Sometimes people have to shake the cobwebs out of their mind to uh, think of the priorities, huh? step by step, what they want to achieve. Uh, and I'm going to tell you, amen, uh, everything gets better when you begin to mention the name of the Lord. Amen. Uh, strength comes. Amen. And just uh, recall and recognizance. Amen. Uh, can come out of the shadows into the light uh, when you begin to mention uh, his name. And so we want to tell you, amen, uh, a lot of people are struggling uh, at times with what God will have them to do uh, in ministry or whatever. But the Bible says in Proverbs 18 and 16, your gift, amen, a man's gift, make it room for him and bringing him before great men. Uh, and sometimes we have to remember uh, it's not necessarily uh, our partnerships that we network with, uh, not even the pastor, amen, or the prophet, uh, but really uh, what God, amen, confers on a person. Amen. Uh, that's what makes room for him. Thank you, Lord. Uh, and I want to say this. I want to encourage you to educate yourself. Amen. In, in all factions. Amen. That are good. Uh, and in ministry things as well. Uh, educate yourself. But remember now. Amen. Uh, God has to make the room. Uh, the Bible says in Psalm 75 and 6. For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. Amen. And so it lets you know uh, no human uh, source really gives the promotion. Uh, the promotion, amen, uh, has to come from heaven above. Amen. Uh, the Lord told Samuel in 1 Samuel 2, The Lord killeth and make it alive. He bringeth down to the grave. And bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lift it up. Amen. And so it's God, amen, that begins to operate huh, and move your life, amen, uh, progress it, advance it. <clears throat> Praise be the name of the Lord. I don't know why so many people get conceited and proud when they get a blessing or two. Hmm? Amen. Because it's God that arranged that blessing uh, to come in your pathway of life. Thank you, Lord. Uh, oftentimes, I think uh, we look at other folks and uh, say, oh, I'm going to follow what they did because of all the things that seem to happen to them. Uh, but that might not be your gift. That might not be the direction you need to take. Glory be to God. Amen. And instead of getting jealous, just begin to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, and lean not to your own understanding. Amen. A lot of people will tell you, you know, do what the successful folks do uh, and it's going to work out for you. Well, I'm going to say this. Amen. Uh, God is someone who has created a man, a blessing for each and every one. Amen. You have to uh, grab it by faith now. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, there's a personal thing. Amen. A personal blessing that's out there for you. Well, it seems to be because if I got personal struggles, there must be a personal deliverance. So there are some personal blessings that are out there for us. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And so I want to see God. Amen. And acknowledge him. Hallelujah. And he's going to direct my paths. Thank you, Jesus. I know. Amen. There are a lot of uh, get rich quick books that are out there some of them are new york bestsellers lists praise be the name of the lord amen but it's the things amen that god uh want to uh pick you up and direct your life uh it is an amazing thing that if people are the ones you're leaning on you know they can pull you down whenever they want to Hmm, but when you are leaning on God, amen, now whatever the people say, it won't affect the blessings that come your way. 
Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And so we just want to encourage you, hallelujah, amen, to remember that God is directing. Well, you say, I've been praying and I've been fasting, and I'm so glad that you have. Please do. Amen. Uh, but remember, amen, when you focus on an individual, amen, and think that they're stopping you. Hmm, you think that individual is blocking you. Amen. I want you to know it's not that individual. Amen. It's yourself. Uh, because God is the one that's going to bring promotion to your life. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Well, that's what the word says. And sometimes we allow feelings to creep up and emotions. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, to kind of uh, lower the voice of the Lord. Amen. And the voice of our own heart begin to speak, and we try to make decisions based on that. But that won't work. I'm telling you, amen, seasons of our life are not determined uh, by storms. And some people think, amen, that when they're in a life situation, uh, that they have to do something different than the righteous things they've been doing all the time. Uh, and so I'm going to tell you and encourage you, don't stop praying. Sometimes you're going to have a storm of offense, Amen. You're going to be offended. Huh? Uh, after all, Jeremiah, amen, was experiencing offense in his life uh, because he knew he heard the word of God. And he was telling people truth, but he was getting a lot of grief, amen, from behind it. Thank you, Lord. Amen. In other words, not only they did not agree with him, but they didn't just use words to let him know. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, one person in uh, Jeremiah 20 and 1 uh, grabbed him and slapped him all up on his face. Huh? Amen. To, to let him know, uh, I don't believe you and I want you to shut up. But I'm going to tell you, amen, you can't stop praying. You can't stop praising him. Huh? You can't go to a corner and hide when it's time to give God his glory. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I want to encourage you, hallelujah, amen, that you're still a, a born-again believer, amen, on the inside. And what's on the inside should show on the outside. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. And so we're just letting you know, amen, seasons of life are really determined by fruitfulness. Uh, the Bible says in uh, one of the favorite psalms of mine, amen, is the first psalm. It says, blessed is the man that... Walking not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, <clears throat> nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Amen. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Oh, my God, if the people of God could learn that principle, amen, to delight themselves in the word of God. Because I recognize, amen, that everything that God tell me, I might not want to hear it at the time it comes to me. Thank you, Lord. But if I delight myself in the law of the Lord, hallelujah, I sit back and think about it for a moment and say, wait a minute. God, hallelujah, does things for my good. Hallelujah. Let me consider, amen, and grab hold to what God is telling me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And, and, and so it tells us, hallelujah, amen, that he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth, it shall prosper. Amen. And so I just want you to know, amen, uh, if you sow righteous seeds, huh, and you sow them consistently, and you're committed to it, amen, a harvest is going to come forth. Amen. Uh, the Bible lets us know when we sow to the spirit, spiritual things, and spiritual things, amen, amen. Uh, you know, this is something that should happen all the time. Amen. Uh, we can't be inconsistent when we want to do stuff before the Lord, stuff that's righteous unto God. Uh, what kind of person would I be to love you today and hate you next week? Hmm? Amen. That, that's not going to work out pretty good. All you done done is put a good seed in the ground, and then the next week you went and dug it back up. My Lord, amen, you have to sow seed, amen, and to stay in a type of mindset where you're going to bless, you got to sow it continually, and you got to be committed to it, because if you're not committed to it, someone's going to offend you and make you want to take back all that good seed you done sown. Well, hallelujah, amen, you will do it without even thinking, because 
and anger or emotion will be driving you. My Lord, hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I want to sow good seeds. So, amen, my life, amen, I reap good things. Amen. And when wicked things seem to come up, I know I didn't sow that seed. Praise be the name of the Lord. Huh? And since I know I didn't sow that seed, when the wicked situation come up, I got confidence to go to God. Uh, and ask God, Lord, I need you to deal with this. Praise be the name of the Lord because I've been sowing good seed. Hallelujah. I've been treating people right. Amen. Huh? I haven't came off my faithfulness. Huh? Amen. I might not have all the church attendance due to the situation, but I still have my faithfulness. Oh, hallelujah. I'm still worshiping the Lord. Ain't God a good God? Well, thank you, Lord. Amen. And so we want to sow good seed. Amen. Because I recognize, amen, that in due season, hallelujah, in your season, uh, that's when the harvest is going to happen. Amen. And I, I'm going to tell you, uh, everybody's season ain't the same. Because Psalms 1 and 3 says, in his season. Uh, and so it lets me know that all of us have a personal season that's going to come up. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Where the harvest is going to come forth. Glory to his name. Amen. Hallelujah. So uh, you can have a storm now, a personal storm uh, in the middle of your fruitful season. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yes, you can. Amen. Uh, the Bible lets us know, amen, as long as we are righteous, amen, things are going to be well with us, and we shall eat the fruit of our doings. Thank you, Lord. Amen. But there are going to be some fruit that are not for you. There's going to be some things that are for God. Thank you, Lord. Uh, things that not going to feel good to you i think job went through that situation huh because job's situation wasn't really about him per se hmm? but it was really about god hmm? and god was laying down a record hallelujah proving to the whole universe that human beings love me not because i bless them but because it is free and given to me in their heart Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And so God was proving a point. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And he was proving it. Amen. Uh, at the consideration of Job. Hallelujah. It lets you know when God does things in this atmosphere in the earth. Hallelujah. He does not necessarily call on the angel to prove his word by faith. Mm, but he calls on human beings, amen, and most explicitly the righteous. Yeah, you who feel like you shouldn't suffer nothing because you've been faithful. I'm going to tell you, hallelujah, God needs some fruit too. Uh, and there's going to be some things that you're going to suffer, amen, just so God will have his glory. Well, thank you, Lord. Ah, amen. Oh, I wish I could tell you to look at your neighbor and say everything ain't about you. Amen. Some things are about God. Hallelujah. Amen. And when the story is about God, amen, you're going to have to get revelation and understanding from the Lord. You're going to have to depend on the things and trust on the things that he's already told you. Because sometimes, amen, uh, it's going to get hard even though you're doing right. And I want to encourage you today, amen, hallelujah, that it will work out for you, amen, even though, hallelujah, uh, things look like it's not going to come to an end. I mean, some situations hang on for a long time and drag down your strength, huh, amen, but it's going to work out for your good, amen. Even Paul, when he wrote to the Romans, amen, let us know that all things are working together, Amen. For the good to them that love God now and who are what call according to his purpose. Everybody has got a salvation call. <laughs> Hallelujah on their life. Huh? Amen. Uh, the Bible says in Isaiah 53 and 10 that it pleased the Lord to bruise him. And Isaiah is talking about Jesus Christ. Huh? He hath put him to grief. And when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. So I want you to know, amen, hallelujah, that God is going to be pleased sometimes when you're bruised. 
Mm-hmm. Amen. Uh, when you uh, take some things, amen, that you know, amen, are aimed at you, hallelujah, but it's not about you, glory to his name, uh, I'm asking you, amen, that God wants to get his fruit. Glory to his name. The Bible says, amen, and I, I just want to move on, uh, that uh, Jeremiah, amen, uh, was born, amen, a priest now. He, he was born, amen, in a priestly family. Uh, and the Bible record lets us know that most of all the Levites, amen, took on, amen, priestly functions, amen, in the kingdom of Israel, amen. But yet this young man, about 18 years old, Amen. God called him out. Amen. And says, you know what? I know you from the family of priests, but you're going to be my prophet. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. And sometimes people look at you weird when you come to them uh, with a different anointing from God. Uh, It's not the one they really recognize. Amen. But it yet comes from God. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, I'm sure many were looking at Jeremiah and expecting him to be around the temple. But lo and behold, amen, before kings and all, he was proclaiming the word of God. Huh? Amen. And when he began to proclaim, he was not just doing local talk, but he was doing national talk. He was talking, amen, concerning Israel and Judah, amen, about what was coming and mostly judgment called the people were wicked uh, and would not listen to the law of God but yet hallelujah Jeremiah find himself amen in a position where he had to tell amen what God would have him to do and I'm going to say this hallelujah uh, his prophecies not only came out true but guess what he had to suffer right along with the evildoers hmm? amen when it came time uh, when God sent judgment And set Nebuchadnezzar uh, and Babylon into the space. Do you know, hallelujah, he came in, y'all. And at first he took about 10,000 Jewish people captive. Along in that number was Ezekiel and Daniel, the prophets. My Lord, amen. And because Judah was stubborn and would not listen to Jeremiah, as he began to prophesy to the kings and told them, God has commanded this. Huh? Stop putting up a fuss. Stop trying to fight this because it's coming from God. And I wonder how many of us try to fight God's will huh? because we don't like what it is at the time. Uh, we'll uh, run from it, amen. We'll argue with folks that are trying to inform us that it's God's doing. Uh, we'll pout. We'll get an attitude. Next thing you know, amen, we don't want to pray anymore because in our prayer law, God is confirming the word in our mind. And since we don't want to hear God anymore, some people stop praying. Lord, have mercy. Some people, amen, stop coming around righteous people. But I want you to know, hallelujah, when you're not around people who care about God, you're not going to get your strength. Thank you, Jesus, because my inheritance is among those that are sanctified. Huh? I'm going to get strength from somebody else that wants to walk a holy life like I desire. Amen. And that's not the time, hallelujah, to run from the holy people and find you a chair with the scornful folks. Lord, have mercy. That's the time, hallelujah, to humble down and say, well, Lord, whatever you will have, my Lord, I'm going to receive it in any- how but the bible says no matter how jeremiah prophesied and you would think since his earlier prophesies what prophecies were coming true right before their eyes as they watch family members get hauled off huh amen to babylon out of jerusalem lo and behold amen the leaders said oh no we're gonna fight them back Next thing you know, after Nebuchadnezzar dealt with some other issues in his empire, he saddled up and said, we're going back to Jerusalem, and we're going to finish some stuff. My Lord, when he got back to Jerusalem, hallelujah, the Bible says that some folks ran to Egypt, amen, they grabbed Jeremiah and pulled him down to Egypt, and when Nebuchadnezzar got to Jerusalem, he tore that city down brick by brick. Huh? Brick by brick. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. And Jeremiah began to tell him, you know, y'all not supposed to fight the will of God. Mm, Just humble yourself and take your medicine. 
Oh, my Lord. Uh, and so the Bible begins to let us know, hallelujah, that all this time, amen, that Jeremiah prophesied. I'm so glad that the Lord blessed him to talk about the new covenant. And so God gave him, amen, a word. Huh? And he began to let us know there's going to come a time now, amen, where the law is no longer going to be written on stone. Huh? But God said he's going to write it on the inner man, on the heart. Amen. He's going to take the stony heart that's in y'all, and he's going to give you a heart of flesh. And I'm so glad that he began to talk about that there's going to be water for purifying in the new covenant. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And let us know, hallelujah, that the spirit of the Lord was going to dwell on the inside. Thank you, Lord. And so the same prophet, amen, that they did not like, God was feeding him victory also on the backside. Ain't God a good God? And I want you to know that every situation that you come into, hallelujah, you might see the battle, but I'm telling you, God sees the victory. Uh, and he sees the victory coming out of the inside of you. Thank you, Lord. So we just want to encourage you this morning, hallelujah, amen, that in the midst of your trouble, especially you, amen, who are faithful and doing God's will, amen, there's going to be some trouble that come your way. Uh, Jeremiah, he was a weeping prophet now. Uh, and he uh, cried a lot, y'all. Uh, amen. And he did get very emotional uh, about the things that were going on. My Lord, amen, uh, he was thrown in pits, my God, hallelujah, folks wanted to kill him, amen, and then when they were thinking they were about to kill him, they realized, no, we need a word from God, go get him and rescue him, my Lord, amen, and so God uh, will keep you and take you through. I just want to read something, amen, that he began to say to God in his prayers in the midst of his struggle. Uh, he says, you are always righteous, Lord, when I bring a case before you. And this is in Jeremiah, the 12th chapter. Yet I will speak with you about your justice. Why does the way of the wicked prosper? And why do all the faithless live at ease? Uh, and sometimes it looked like those who are rich and they got rich by ill-gotten greed. Hallelujah. Like they just sailing through every issue. Amen. And Jeremiah began to question God. He says, you have planted them and they have taken root. They grow and bear fruit. You are always on, you are always on their lips before from their hearts. So people can do good stuff, y'all. Amen. But their heart ain't with God. Yet you know me, Lord. You see me and test my thoughts about you. So God, you let them get away with everything. Huh? And all the things I do, you always confronting me. You always checking on me. My Lord, hallelujah. These people, amen, y'all have heard the term bloody murder, the cliche, amen. These people are getting away with everything. But how come, Lord, you always got a tight rope on me? Hmm? My Lord, you done gave me all these duties to root up and to plant. Hallelujah. You're giving me all these kind of things to do. And when you let the wicked just go crazy. Hallelujah. And they get to eat seemingly they good fruit. They prospering God. My Lord, and I can't hardly handle it. Amen. And God begin to answer him. And he say, if you have raced with men on foot and they don't warn you out, how can you compete with the horses? Hallelujah. So I let you know today, amen, uh, that you got to stay faithful to God. Right. Huh? You're going to see some things that seem inconsistent with his justice. After all, you know, amen, Bible lets us know, don't be deceived. God's not mocked. Whatsoever a man saw it, that shall also he reap it. And you might feel like, Lord, they ain't reaping the evil they done sowed. Huh? When they time coming. My Lord, you get offended, you want to say, Lord, let me help them get to their time. My God, hallelujah, but I want to encourage you, hallelujah, amen, to take that emotion uh, and, and, and turn it toward the Lord. Because all of us are going to have our psychological struggles, our complaints in our mind, our understanding where it's going to be short. Hallelujah, yeah, you're going to have a trial that's 10 feet deep, but your understanding only go eight. Huh? The Bible says in James 1 and 2, count it all joy. 
uh, when you fall in divers temptation. I'm going to tell you, amen, the part you don't understand, if you have joy, the joy will make up for it. Glory to his name. Amen. And so we see Jeremiah, he, he struggles with this. And in Lamentations 3 and 22, Baruch, his secretary, amen, begins to write his thoughts. And Jeremiah said, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. He found out they are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Hallelujah. So I've been complaining. But the very truth of it, hallelujah, is the things that I have accused God of. I really deserve, amen, to be punished, uh, amen, and the wicked as well. As a matter of fact, in looking from God's perspective, there is none righteous. No, not one. Praise be the name of the Lord. And now Jeremiah begins to come to a conclusion, amen, in his crying and in his emotions. Hallelujah that you know what? If it wasn't for the anointing of the Lord, amen, I would not have been able to stand the things that have come against me. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, you have to rearrange your mind and say it's a privilege to suffer on the behalf of the mission of God. Thank you, Lord. And when you begin to rearrange your mind, amen, God can give you strength. And that's what I see in the 20th chapter in the midst of Jeremiah's complaint Why he's crying. Hallelujah, saying, you know what? Amen, I'm not going to talk about him anymore. Uh, amen. I'm not going to bring him up. I'm not going to mention his name. Lord, have mercy. I'm just going to shut off communication with him. Hallelujah. But then uh, somewhere else came a burning fire anointing uh, and said, hallelujah. Amen. It's just like fire shut up in my bones. Uh, I can't stop uh, telling what he has done. I cannot stop uh, telling what he commands me to say. Uh, hallelujah, I don't like it, but I must tell it. Uh, you know how feelings are, they go up uh, and then they go down. Uh, hallelujah, and when the feelings go down, uh, my Lord, sometimes you express just how you feel. Uh, thank you, Lord, but when it's all said and done, uh, Jeremiah begin to realize uh, the folks ain't going to listen, but it's not my job that people are not listening. Uh, it's my job to speak. Speak what thus say the word of the Lord. And I'm going to tell you, all of us have a job in the kingdom. Praise be the name of the Lord. We might not be prophets like Jeremiah. Hallelujah. But all of us, amen, have a job to tell the goodness of the Lord. The Bible says, and let us know that after, hallelujah, the power of the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You shall be witnesses unto me. And what I like, hallelujah, about the locational story that Luke told, he says, yeah, in Judea. But not just there. Also in Samaria, but not just there. Into the uttermost parts of the world. And so it begins to let me know that when the power of God is operating in you, there is nothing that can block it in. Glory, hallelujah. Nothing on this earth, no boundary. Thank you, Lord, that can stop the moving of God in your life. Matter of fact, I believe the only thing. Thing, uh, that can really hold up the move of God uh, is the individual, uh, my God, uh, because the Bible says uh, that the word is going to do what it's sent to do, uh, that is quick powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, how it divides asunder the soul and the spirit, even the joint and the marrow, how it is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And so I want you to know whatever God's promise is, it's going to follow through. I'm going to encourage you to hold on to the promise. Hold on to what God has given you. And it's going to bring you through. Uh, Lord, don't just fight yourself. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, amen. And let the struggle get to you. Uh, I'm going to tell you, amen. Uh, remember uh, to mention his name. Uh, the Bible lets us know uh, 
that there are various struggles uh, that we have. Uh, even Jesus, uh, amen, had a struggle. Uh, the Bible lets us know, thank you, Lord, uh, that his struggle uh, in the beginning uh, was in the wilderness. Uh, and when you read the synoptic gospels, uh, they begin to talk about how the Holy Ghost uh, led him to the wilderness. Uh, another gospel writer will say the Spirit drove him to the wilderness. Uh, and so, hallelujah, he had something that was pulling him. Uh, hallelujah, he had something that was pushing him uh, to go forth uh, in the call of God. Uh, hallelujah. And if you are out there uh, and you are sitting down, uh, amen, not doing the will of God, uh, I can hear Jeremiah say, uh, here comes some fire. Uh, hallelujah. To light up your life uh, and drive you forward uh, into the will of God. Uh, the Bible lets us know, uh, hallelujah, that he was fasting in the will y'all. And while he was fasting, about the 40th day, hallelujah, when the fast was coming to a close, here comes the devil. Begin to tempt him, y'all, and begin to say, you know what, hallelujah, if thou be the son of God, why don't you turn these stones into bread? Oh, glory. But Jesus, hallelujah, said, no, that's not in the word. Let me help you out. Out. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, Deuteronomy say man should not live uh, by bread alone, but every word that proceeds uh, out of the mouth of God. Lord have mercy. Uh, I know we in the season uh, where things are shutting down, uh, but child, if you're going to live, uh, it's got to come by the word of God. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Put your crying towel down. Uh, thank you, Lord, uh, and begin to mention the name of the Lord. The Bible says that the devil also y'all took him to a pinnacle of the temple began to show Jesus all the kingdoms of the world. He looked at him and said look here if you want all this why don't you just bow down man and worship me and I give you all the kingdoms of the world. He realized the word of God said that Thou should not worship no one but God only. Hallelujah. So I'm here to tell you right now, my Lord, no matter how things are going, worship God. If your ship is going down, hallelujah, you be the one with the last word and say he's right anyhow. He's my savior anyhow. He's my healer anyhow. And I'm going to tell you, hallelujah. Uh, when uh, he got through ain't it something uh, that rat when you're at the end of the trial uh, that the devil's going to come and try to steal your victory uh, and that's what he did with Jesus uh, but the Bible says uh, that Jesus began to say uh, hallelujah that the spirit of the Lord is up on me uh, and it has anointed me uh, ain't God a good God uh, in other words hallelujah uh, I'm here with an anointing uh, that the blind eyes will be open, that ears will be unstopped, that the lame will be able to walk, and that the them, hallelujah, that are bruised can be set at liberty, and even captives, y'all, can go free. I'm telling you, hallelujah, he went through his struggle, and he became anointed, but I'm going to let you know, hallelujah, that God was not finished with him yet. My Lord, because he began to win over the devil huh? and folks got healed y'all have you read the accounts of Jesus uh, amen lepers would come huh? hallelujah and when they got done talking to the Lord uh, they got healed as they went huh? the Bible says uh, folks were depending on troubling of water huh? uh, but when Jesus came through uh, he came through uh, and began to let them know huh? hallelujah do you want to be healed huh? right 
rise up and walk. Uh, thank you, Lord. All this came uh, because of the anointing. Uh, ain't God a good God? Uh, but that was not the ultimate victory. Because uh, no matter how many folks were healed, uh, no matter how many blind eyes was open, uh, there still was one thing that he had to deal with. Uh, and I want you to know the hardest battle you're going to have uh, is the battle over self. Uh, well, the Bible says, all right, uh, three and a half years have gone. Uh, those who believe know you are the Christ. Uh, but right now, uh, hallelujah, it's time to die uh, for the sins of the world. Uh, ain't God a good God? Uh, and so the Bible lets us know uh, that when he went to the Garden of Gethsemane, uh, it wasn't about the devil. Uh, it wasn't about the people who didn't like him. Uh, it wasn't about mama uh, or the Pharisees. Uh, right now, it was a battle with himself. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, he went to the garden and began to pray. Uh, he didn't just pray once, uh, but Matthew said he prayed twice uh, and three times. Uh, glory, hallelujah. Uh, he looked and said, you know what? Uh, flesh is weak, uh, but he was glad that the spirit uh, was indeed willing. Uh, yeah, I wonder how many of us uh, are fighting with ourselves. Uh, look at here, take the preacher out of the equation. Uh, take the haters out of the equation. Uh, take the government out of the equation. Uh, it's just you and God. Uh, God and you. Uh, Lord, you have to deal with the struggle. Uh, when the struggle is coming, uh, emotions come to the top. Uh, the things that God don't like about you, uh, it begins to come to the top. Uh, I'm going to tell you, all of us uh, have got to have our Gethsemane. Uh, have to have our personal struggle. Uh, yeah, uh, that we might come out uh, uh, victorious on the other side. Woo, glory, hallelujah. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, God's not going to change the devil. Uh, so you are the one that's going to have to change. Uh, you are the one that's going to have to improve. Uh, you are the one that's going to have to walk more righteous. Uh, glory to his name. Uh, and when, uh, hallelujah, uh, he defeated the enemy on the cross, uh, the Bible lets us know in Philippians, the second chapter, uh, thank you, Lord, wherefore God also have highly exalted him uh, and given him a name which is above every name, uh, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, uh, things in heaven, uh, things in earth, uh, things under the earth. Uh, your situation's got to bow at the mention of his name. Uh, glory, hallelujah. Uh, things will turn right side up uh, when you call on the name of the Lord. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, the Bible lets us know he that believed on him. Uh, as the scripture have said, it, out of his belly shall flow uh, rivers of living water. Uh, my Lord, uh, it's not necessarily uh, always the fire that Jeremiah had, uh, but it's going to be water. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, that you can come and drink uh, a well that never runs dry. Why don't you call on his name? The one where the righteous run in and are saved. Call on his name. Glory. Call it loud. Call it often. The mention of his name. Thank you, Lord. And if you want fire, it don't have to stop with you, but it can work on your neighbor. Work in your household. Hallelujah. Some of us, hallelujah, need a good flood of the Holy Ghost in our life. Oh, yeah, hallelujah. One like Ezekiel prophesied where water was all in the temple, rose up and was coming out of the windows and the doors. It was the overflow of the Spirit. And some of us need an overflow working in our life. Woo, hallelujah. Lord, not only cover me, but cover the wife. Cover the son. Cover my daughter. Hallelujah. Don't stop with my house. Go over to the elder.
uh, come on Lord uh, in their house uh, let the rivers of living water uh, begin to flow in your life uh, oh my God uh, I can't be sad uh, when the joy of the Lord uh, is rolling in my spirit uh, I can't be downtrodden uh, my counting is not falling uh, but it has to look up uh, when the waters of the living God uh, begin to flow in our spirit uh, hallelujah we want to tell you today, don't forget to mention his name. Call on him in the morning. Call on him in the evening. Call on him whenever you can call on him. Mention the name of the Lord. Ooh, how the mercy. Mention the name of the Lord. When y'all cracked and bruised up. My Lord. High and the enemy want to come, and he can't do nothing with you, but he start picking on folks close to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. People who should be encouraging your children, all of a sudden they try to pull the rug out from under. Mm -hmm. And you know what? The devil makes sure you see it. He makes sure you see what they're doing. Hallelujah. And he makes sure you can't find any excuse to give them the benefit of the doubt. Hmm? He'll let you see that they mean to hurt you, so they're going to hurt your child. Hmm? That's his trick. Hmm? If I can't do nothing with you, I'm going to mess with the one that's close to you. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. See. Uh, this is the time, hallelujah, to remember to mention his name. Oh, praise be the name of God. Hallelujah. It don't matter how it's going to uh, work out in the end for me. Just as long as it work out in the end for God. That's the mindset we got to have. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. If I could explain what God does, everything that he does, then I guess I'd be God. But his ways are past finding out. We can't always explain how the inner workings of God. But one thing I can do, I can call on his name. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah, amen. I ain't always got to be in pain. Sometimes I say, Lord, I don't understand. Jesus, help me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Help me, Lord. Because if God don't help you, you'll swing at people who are trying to help you. Hmm? When you're in a storm, a personal storm, sometimes uh, your friends may look like your enemies. Hmm? And the people who are trying to help you and tell you the truth, huh? you will push them away. And the folks, amen, that will pat your emotions and tell you what you want to hear, those are the ones you cleave to. Hmm? But the devil is a lie. Huh? Amen. You can't see that their life is spiraling down. Hmm? And all they got for you is the same thing that they got going on in their life, which is a spiral downward. But we want to, oh, glory. We want to encourage you, hallelujah, amen, to get in with someone that is standing. That is standing for the righteousness of God. Oh, glory, hallelujah. You ought to have, amen, somebody in your life that you saw take a blow, but got up praising him. Oh, my Lord. They didn't get up mad. They didn't get up angry. But when they got up, they got up praising him. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Some of us need a Lazarus example in our life. Thank you, Lord. When we thought it was over and they were dead and gone. Huh? When Jesus entered the picture... He began to call forth life back into their situation. Huh? And we saw him come forth. Glory to his name. We got to put the right role models in our eyes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Huh? If you keep looking at the wicked like Jeremiah looked at, you're going to think God doing you wrong. Hmm? Hallelujah. But when you look at Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, oh, glory, hallelujah, despise the men and acquainted with grief. I huh, did nobody wrong, but all the wrong came at him. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. I want you to know, amen, when you begin to look at Jesus, huh, you'll begin to mention his name. Huh, thank you, Lord. I tell you what, if you suffer for the namesake of Christ, it puts you in a special category. Ooh, glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It's all right. All those apostles. Amen. Eleven of them were martyrs except for John. 
Thank you, Lord. Amen. It lets you know they put out for God, but in the end of their natural life, huh, they saw, amen, lives being sawed asunder. How stoned to death, fed to lions, crucified upside down. Hallelujah. But I tell you what, them are the folks who got the victory. Ooh, hallelujah. I want you to realize just the mention of his name. My God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. One song writer says, after all the things I've been through, I still have joy. We thank you, praise God for you. Listen, we want to tell you, hallelujah, amen, that you can have the strength, amen, that a child of God has. All you have to do is receive salvation. The Bible let us know that when a man wants to be saved, he must be born again. Jesus said, of water and of spirit. Thank you, Lord. The Bible lets us know, amen, that uh, he gave a charge. Jesus did, leaving off the scene. He told the disciples, uh, you know, to go and teach all nations and, you know, to make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's what he told them. Hallelujah. Amen. When they got that covenant word, praise be the name of the Lord, Peter stood up on the day of Pentecost. Uh, and it's recorded in Acts 2 and 38. He told them to repent, hmm, every one of you, for the remission of your sins. Huh? And when you repent, amen, you have to be baptized for the remission of your sins in the name of Jesus. Then he said, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So I want you to know, hallelujah, the command, hallelujah, amen, is to be baptized in the name of Jesus. Huh? Repent. Uh, tell God you're sorry. Uh, Lord, I need to work it out. And I need you to help work it out of my spirit. Hmm? Amen. You've been holding a grudge for years. You owe God an apology. Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah. You say, well, you know, uh, I need to talk to the person. Amen. And ask them to forgive me. No, that's not all you need to talk to. You owe God an apology. Hmm? Amen. You in hell, amen, a grudge against the creature he has made. You owe him an apology. You know, a, a sorry. A Lord, forgive me. Hmm? That's what repentance is all about. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, I wish all had a repenting spirit. The kind, amen, that when they've done the action, not only are they saying, Lord, I'm sorry, but they do a 180 say, I ain't doing that no more. Praise be the name of the Lord. And when you really repent, amen, to the requirement that God is asking and looking at in your heart, he'll give you strength not to walk into them foul things anymore. Oh, hallelujah. So we want to encourage you, amen, to come to God. Hallelujah. This is the day. This is the hour. I'm repenting your sins. Huh? Hallelujah. Be baptized. I am water in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. The Bible says you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Oh, it's a blessing to have your sins under the blood. Where all that old evil record has been blotted out. Thank you, Jesus. So we thank and praise God and we encourage you, hallelujah, to come to the Lord. To come to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, we're going to ask you to bow your heads and pray. Amen. Bow your heads and pray. Precious Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you glory, all the glory, Lord. We give you praise, all the praise. And God, we thank you, Lord, for what you're doing this morning. Right now, oh God, Lord, we ask you to, mm, to touch the heart. To touch the heart of those, oh Lord. Hallelujah. That are seeking you, that want you in their life. Hallelujah, Lord, we know, oh God, you're not looking for them to be perfect. You just want them to come unto you. Hallelujah, bless them, oh Lord, to come unto you. Ah, weary, wounded, sad, with struggles. But God, you say, just come. Bless, oh God, with an overwhelming push and drive. Lord, that those that want to be amended with you that they will come and right now hallelujah give strength lord to the people of god them that are suffering lord loss of loved one in this day lord we ask you to give them strength even though family and loved ones may not be able to be there in that moment 
hallelujah, due to what the situation is in this day and time. Lord, you be there. Huh? Give them help. Give them strength. And Lord, we give you glory and praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, church. Thank you. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. No other name I know. Bless that wonderful name of Bless that wonderful name of Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. No other name I know. Power in the name of Power in the name of Jesus No other name I know Jesus Bless that wonderful name of Jesus Jesus No other name What's his name? Oh, what's his name? Oh, what's his name? Oh, what's his name? A holy name. A holy name. Wonderful. Oh, is his name? Strong tower. Oh, strong tower. Oh, is his name? Oh, Jesus. Oh, heal us, it's in, oh, Jesus, oh, what's his name, yeah, what's his name, Jesus, oh, Jesus, we'll live in water, oh, live in water, live in water, oh, in my soul, Jesus, oh, Jesus, Prince of Peace, oh Jesus, everlasting, lasting Father, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, I am who I am, oh Jesus.